I'm going to tell you what I use generally for lunging on the roller. This is with side reins, okay? So, Terry's a bit impatient because I'm faffing around now. So, what I do, firstly, is get a bit of baling twine, tie a knot, tie a knot so it doesn't slip off, and then tie a loop. It's actually better if you do this like with a, like a double bailing twine so that they don't snap it. But if they do panic, it can snap. So I'll show you later why that is there. So that is going to be, when this is done up, it's going to be in the middle underneath their belly. Okay? And just normal roller and saddle off. Both long reining and lunging are useful for horses off the track. I tend to start off with long reining because... Oh, here you go. Hey. Silly pony. You haven't established the contact. So you don't want to just shove a horse on a lunge with side reins because they may panic, they may pull against the side reins and that does not go well. So long reins is a good way to introduce some contact. Theo has been long reined, he's also been ridden. And today we're going to lunge him in side reins. Now he is a horse that can get anxious, so using ooh, using the lunge is a good way to get him to just relax within the contact and also get a little bit of work because he is a horse that thrives off having work to do. Now I'm gonna show you how I set up the side reins. It is really important that you take your horse from the tire or where they are, the stable, whatever, to the arena without the side reins on. So. You may carry the side reins. What I tend to do is just have them clipped on the side of the roller. For a new horse that you're not used to lunging or it hasn't been lunged or you don't know anything about it, I would suggest you take these off to walk the horse to the arena because if they flap or they hit their sides, they may have a panic and they may take off and that's not great. So you need a lunge line, you need a pair of gloves. Do not lunge without gloves. It will not be the last time that a horse takes off with a lunge line and it rips through your hands. Tell you what, once a horse has done that to you once, you will remember to wear gloves, but you know, just let's not risk it. So pair of gloves, lunge line, lunge whip, it's up to you. Some people are against lunge whips. Theo is a bit of a speedy horse, so he does not need a whip to encourage him to go fast but I do tend to carry a whip and that is more as an extension of my arm and to create a triangular shape whilst lunging. So you'll see how I'm holding it. Some horses keep a shape on a circle really well and you don't actually need a whip and they might go too fast. They might not like the whip. So you might be able to just use the end of the rope just to swing to keep them going forwards. That is personal preference and a little bit reading the horse and the situation. Um, but today you will see me using the whip and as I said, that's to kind of keep Theo on the circle, not turning in, encourage him around me. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to talk you guys through what's happening on the lunge. I will tend to let him just have a little trot around with no side reins to start off so he gets to warm up, he gets to relax. Some horses, sometimes Theo, with no side reins, no contact, he'll get too whizzy and actually the side reins help to relax him and slow him down. But we'll see how we go. So we'll lunge him a little bit, just a few circles with nothing attached. Then I'll attach, depends how he is, one side rein or two, and I'll show you what I do. I'm going to walk him up in the bridle carrying the lunch line. The side reins are on the roller and I will show you what I do with the reins when we get to the top. So he will have a trot to his normal walk on the lunch line with the side reins. What I like to do is once he's got the go for up, then I go round the neck. So I let him round the top of his head like a cat's paw. 
it is not going to go over their head and it's not flapping so they can't catch their leg in it. Gazin, we take Gazir and my train. The lunge train I put through the bit ring on the side I will be standing, pop it over their head and attach it to the far bit ring. Try and make sure that the clip is outwards. Gloves on, we're ready to go. We'll walk them into the circle. off with just the outside rein. non-stretchy part I actually put it on the leather because I want it down here not this high I put it on the buckle okay the stretchy part I'm going to attach to the bit so you can see here hang on let me move the camera when he's standing at rest it's about six inches from the bit that is how you sort of estimate how tight it you do have to put a little bit of pressure to bring the head down to it. And with a new horse, you want to start maybe a bit longer because the minute you clip them and they feel a bit restricted, they can panic. So you might want to start at the length they're at, but for now, Theo is a little bit more advanced than first time, but I'm not going to clip it on until we're on the circle. So I'm not going to clip it on while I'm standing here by the fence. So you'll see that there are riders on the one side. Theo can grasp. is that horses feel tension through their bodies when they get quite straight. So if you notice, while we're on the circle, I try and encourage some inside bends and you use your lunge line to do that. So try and bring the, the head to you a little bit so you get some inside bends. The minute that they're bending and they're soft, you soften and it allows them to kind of dissipate that tension through their body and relax. So you'll notice when Theo is bending to the inside, he's more relaxed. When he lifts his head to the outside and he gets tense, he tends to rush. So this is a real video and I'm not going to cut any bits out where Theo rushes and goes a bit silly because that is the type of horse that we're often lunging. And it normally doesn't go quite to plan when you're starting off with off the track thoroughbreds or your lunging horse is hot. And more often than not, you'll be lunging a horse that's a bit trickier until they're more experienced. So don't panic if your horse rushes. Keep your circle small. Try and keep that inside bend. Try and keep them relaxed and work through it. They will get more relaxed. They will get more confidence on the lunge. And we're going to go on the other way now and we'll see how Theo deals with it. So here I am attaching the outside side rein 
So I clip the non-stretchy part to the buckle and the stretchy part to the bit. And then I put on the inside side rein, which the non-stretchy part attaches to the bailing twine between the legs and the stretchy part to the inside bit. And then we're ready to rock and McRoll or just adjust the length a little bit. So when you're starting, you don't want it to be too tight. The outside one does have to act like an outside rein though. So if it's too floppy, then you're not giving the horse any stability through the outside shoulder. Okay, off we go. I've cut out some of the video because it was quite long. Theo hasn't been lunged in a little while, so he can get a little speedy and a little bit hot on the lunge, hence why I lunge him if he hasn't been worked for a while. Now, you can see as he sort of comes towards the camera that he's leaning in a little bit, sort of motorbiking, as I'd like to call it. Now, he's not necessarily rushing at this point. I think he does rush at some stage, but he's not flexing to the inside. So that's my job to try and encourage his nose a little bit inwards, um, to try and get some inside flexion, to try and get him to carry the weight on the inside hind and to let go of any tension through the body. Now he doesn't look tense, he's chilling. That's good, just going back to walk there, that, that's good, okay? And for a lot of off the tracks, you put them on the lunge, they may rush, they might just start cantering, they might fall in, they might not stay on the circle. So for Theo, even though he's not flexing to the inside quite as much as I'd like, he's off to canter. Okay, so that's a bit of a thoroughbred moment. Just popped into canter. A little bit of frustration. But do you know what? Theo is one of these horses that excess energy can turn into tension. So having a little canter, you just go with it. Okay, just try and whatever he's going to do, though, on the end of the lunge has to be relaxed. So try and encourage the inside bend. He's not bolting off. He's not galloping off. So that's fine. Try not to overreact to what he's done. Stay relaxed. And as you see, he sort of just pops back to trot. And then again, just try to get him to relax, get a bit of rhythm. And we want him. Yeah, OK, nice. And he comes back to walk. I can't remember. I'm not I'm sure I was telling him to slow down. We can't hear that. Ultimately, the aim for me when I'm lunging is I would like the horses to be long and low, hence the lunge, the side rein between their legs, working over the back. So I'd like his neck and his head to drop below the withers and him to reach down and forwards. You can see he just at the moment, <clears throat> rather than relaxing and searching for the contact, his go-to is just speed up a little bit. But as I said before, don't overreact. Just stay very quiet in your body language. Okay, so changing the rein. So I thought I'd show you this again. So for the inside rein, I'm going to clip it on to the bailing twine between the legs and then to the inside rein. And again, remember the sort of six inch distance thingamajig if you're not sure how far away. And then the outside rein. So clip that one onto the buckle and then onto the outside rein. You can see the lunge line is also clipped onto the outside rein. And then we're ready to go the other way. So starting off in walk again, same aim, relaxation. If we can, we want some inside flexion. We want him to work over the back. We want him tracking up. Tracking up means the back feet should be at least foot, like falling in the footprints of the front feet. If they're taking too small the steps, then they're just not working through the back enough. So you can see he's jumped off onto the wrong leg in canter just of his own accord. He's still a little bit, so this isn't really so much to do with lunging, it's more to do with, this is kind of thoroughbreds, okay? So, but that's why we're, why we're doing this video. He hasn't been worked for a week or so. And look, 
could be a lot worse. He's getting a bit frustrated that he tried to put his head up there and shoot off and the side reins were there. But tough. If he wants to canter round and round, that's just silly. That's, you know, he can if he really would like to. But trying not to get pulled into the silliness, stay calm in your body language, keep encouraging him round. You can make the circle small. You can see that I am keeping him on quite a small circle. And that is partly because he wants to speed up. So I have a bit more control over his speed if I can bring his nose to the inside and ask for some flexion. And if I can keep him on a smaller circle, I can keep him a little bit more balanced. Okay, so hopefully, uh, so he's still not got this out of his system. Back onto a small circle. Come on, Theo, let's concentrate. Let's behave okay. ourselves. Small circle, relax, calm your farm, woo. So, what I'm learning from watching this is that it would actually be great to have him in long reins right now because I'd have a bit more control over his forward movement and I'd be able to get him to flex a little bit more to the inside without falling to the inside. So you can still see as he sort of comes around, he leans in a bit, which isn't, you know, that's not really how I want him to work. I want him to steady, step underneath and be bending. Imagine you've got your inside leg on and he's bending around your inside leg. That's what I want. Now see this walk with his head stretching down? That's how I'd like him to have done the whole session. The walk, trot and canter. Actually, he can lunge really, really well. This just wasn't our day, obviously, because I want to do a video for YouTube. But I kind of, look, I wanted to redo it and show you that he's perfect. But what would be the point? Because I know that you guys are at home and you might have an off the track that rushes, jumps off into canter, leans in. And I want you to know that those are normal things that happen. So, Look, different horses, depending on how they go, depending on the situation, they need different training aids. So watching that video, like I said before, on that day, long reins would have really helped me out. And I'm going to do a video on long reining, and I'm going to show you the difference. And for that situation where he was wanting to lean in and rush, long reins would have really helped because I'd have been able to steady him and get him to bend adequately whereas when he's on the end of the lunch line if he wants to keep taking off into canter and just leaning in cutting the circle there's not really much you can do you can hold a lunge whip and try and poke it at him so he stays out but in reality if he's already wanting to speed up it's probably going to speed him up more or spook him or whatever look there are lots of different training aids side reins sometimes are great long reins sometimes are great bungees sometimes are great but that was just showing you how I use the side reins. I'm going to try and get some different lunging videos because Theo wasn't the best example. I'd like to show you lunging with a horse that is actually flexing correctly. But ultimately, that day, I still needed to lunge him. It was a good way to get a little bit of energy out so that I could work him properly the next day. And he worked superbly. And if I had lunged him the next day and done this video, he probably would have also been much better. But, you know, reality. Okay, so guys, please let me know if you have struggles when you're lunging, what they are, what your, do you have trouble one way rather than the other way, what training aids you use, what your horse is like, and what training aids you maybe want to know what you should be using. Please put it down in the comments, and I will get back to you. Otherwise, I'm happy for you guys to DM me on Instagram. I'm at JetZipOne or find me on Facebook. And I'll try and put them all in the links in the description. And um, yeah, anyway, I'll try and get some more of these videos out. I'm getting it a little bit slack at getting them out. I am trying. My phone's not behaving. I really hope this audio has filmed. There we have it. Let me know what you want to see. I am getting those off the track. Question and answers out. Peace out.